Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cyber Acoustics CA3602 speaker set. This is a three piece uh, computer speaker set, which is a 2.1, so it's got two satellite speakers and one subwoofer. And uh, get into some details real quick here. This is the subwoofer. You can see my hand fits on top, and there's a little screen right there. Here, I'll get a ruler. You can measure it. So, lengthwise, it's about seven and a quarter inches wide. Height, we're at about ten inches tall, and it's about seven and another quarter inches deep so seven and a quarter seven and a quarter by ten so that's the outside box diameter just so you know because uh, when I was buying this I was considering what space would be needed uh, the reason I bought this was because I needed some more base or depth I guess you could say Okay, the size of the actual subwoofer itself is five and a quarter inches, so it's a larger, a larger uh, subwoofer for a computer set of speakers. It's not an enclosed box. It does have a port over here. You can't see it, but I don't know how wide it is. It's probably about two, two and a half inches. The port is so two and a half inch port with a five and a quarter inch subwoofer. Uh, the subwoofer has a plug into a regular wall outlet, as you can see up here. So that runs into there, and then you have this little control module here, which I will turn off. See, it's got a little switch for off. You control the volume by going from left to right. It starts here, and it doesn't go. It doesn't turn 360 degrees. It turn. It goes about just about 180, not not even. So you plug the subwoofer into the wall. From the subwoofer runs this red cord red uh, plug which controls the base from here and on this side we'll get to this in a minute actually so on there and then from here runs this cord where the speakers get their power from so if you want to just listen to bass you can unplug this which is your uh, regular audio speakers I guess onto the control module this is probably about two and a half inches uh, in diameter you turn it on you have these uh, Looks to be like two blue LED accent lights, which I mean, if you're worried about it being on uh, in the dark area and trying to preserve the darkness for some reason, it's not that bright. Just trying to get a little in-depth here. Uh, so it's not that bright, and you have it on. You can also plug in a set of headphones, which I have not tried. You can also plug in a auxiliary cord to this port right here, and you can, and then on this side you can adjust the bass. Which it does have a large range of movement. I keep mine on probably about three quarters of the way all the way up. So there's your little control module, I guess you could say. Um, from there, these cords run to these two satellite speakers. As you can see here, uh, there's one on each. I mean, one on each. There's two speaker things, but each one has two speakers in itself. I don't know how to word that. There's two speaker modules. And then there's a speaker, two speakers in each one. So, I don't know. These are, I don't know, I gotta look at the specs real quick. I think they're, yeah, I'll give you a good look at them. Let me look this up. Oh, okay. So, you got technically four speakers all together, and each one of these is a two inch in diameter. Um, I don't really know how tall these are. From the bottom up, looks to be about seven inches and then across is probably three or two and a half inches long ways with its width is two two and a half inches it's seven inches tall and in the back at most it's probably two inches deep so there's some rough numbers giving you ideas on space on how much you're gonna need just because I know some people may be confined uh, I listen to basically YouTube videos and some music with it. The music I listen to is like uh, mostly rock, metal, and uh, some dubstep. And I know that, you know, this isn't very big, but it does put off a good bass tone. It's not distorted. 
unless the music you are listening to is. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into some here. I'll play some uh, rock music first, which would be so it's a metal type. I'll play that first, and then I'll play a dubstep type song afterwards. And uh, these speakers are not what I, they're not included in the package. This is just something I also have hooked up. It's a whole set I got to play together. But these will not be included when you're listening to it, so you'll be just listening to the cyber acoustic sound system. There we go. Alrighty, so um, that's pretty good. You really can feel the bass from a few feet away. And then we're going to go to some uh, dubstep music, which I don't listen to all the time, but this is a good representation of the, how good the subwoofer works, because I know I was, consider, I was considering how well it was. part in this song, I'm not very sure what it is. <laughs> And uh, one more demonstration to just show how this is pretty good. We do this song, but bass boosted once again, just to show the capabilities of this subwoofer. <coughs> Mute this. Meanwhile, I want to say that I have played this quite loud with like bass mu music, and I haven't noticed any uh, defects in it lately. Nothing's blown up so far, so I'm hoping nothing does. So let's try to get this. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn this up a little bit and go. Okay, so it definitely does move some air. Uh, that song was a little bit distorted. That's not the bass's fault. I mean, the subwoofer's fault. Okay, so I hope that was a decent review. Uh, I think this was like 42 bucks, so it was well worth the money I put into it. I mean, it, 
enhanced my music listening pleasure greatly. So, there you go. Any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.